are two sides to the UCLA business and the speed test world, which is the consumer and the enterprise. And you know, the question could be answered for either. And so first we look at making sure that we produce a platform and a test that the consumer trusts and that it's answering the question for the consumer. And you know, the result of that produces this volume of data that we're able to utilize to benchmark and help operators improve their networks. Um, you know, we use the, the usual metrics, download, upload, you know, the throughput measures, latency, jitter. We have a lot of supplementary metrics that we collect, and we put all this together with a lot of data science to, uh, you know, ensure that we are ranking things correctly and that uh, we properly assess performance. We are a brand that is known to the world. The fact that we measure everywhere and we're trusted by the consumer, you know, it, it you know, makes, it, makes us be the ideal you know, provider of insights to the operators around the world. So we know where networks exist, how they perform, and you know, whether it's the operators themselves for business reasons or if it is regulators trying to look to see and ensure that you know, all of their population is able to get good internet connectivity. We are the ultimate source for that. The first speed test from UCLA was speedtest.net, the website, which obviously is not even intended for mobile measurement. And this was 2006. It was before real smartphones even became a thing. So um, fast forward to now where everyone has fiber, 5G, it's multi-gigabit, yet yeah, the technology is not the same. And you know, one of the things that I would say has changed, especially to be able to measure the capacities that we offer, you know, that are out there these days, and I think we're the only global platform that can do this, is you know, we have north of 15,000 servers around the world. The infrastructure that we have is very unique. These aren't server farms. They're spread out everywhere in every country. And when you take a test, we start talking to one server and start adding in the others so that we make sure that the bottleneck is nowhere in between. We truly can measure the capacity of the last mile as a result. So there's a lot more to it than that, but I think that's a good answer to, to explain the, the biggest change and the biggest evolution in testing over the years. We have been a crowd company for years. We have speed test, we have down detector, it's insights and measurements from the crowd, um, which is great for benchmarking or assessing problems or incidents. So, but we can only see networks that are live. So I can't help you build your network because I don't see it until you've turned it on for the customer. That's where my data starts. And then the data can tell you where there might be an issue like this looks like a problem here, but then it's like I'm handing it to a, a uh, you know a telco to go fix it themselves. Wind steps into both those spaces. It extends what we can do at Ucla. One, you know, we can do site assessment. We can make sure that the, the the infrastructure is working properly before you turn it live. That is, you know, it's it's a unique, fast, instant test and measurement platform. You know, it's. It's, it's all about real time. We want you to send, send someone out to do a walk test or a drive test and know the answer right away so they can fix something while they're there. Um, same is true on the other side. We can now say, it looks like there's a problem here. You can st we have tools that we can offer you or services we can provide you to go in and fix the problem. Being able to extend into deeper engineering grade problem solving and solutions uh, root metrics helps open this up further for us, and I'll, I'll say this two ways. You know, one is, you know, controlled like scientific testing, driving. I mean, you can collect so much more detailed network data that you can't from the crowd, and so we knew we needed to do that in some way, as we're further enabling beyond the crowd. But uh, you know, the other answer is informing the crowd, and what I mean here is. Uh, there's a form of validation that can happen around the world as we say, well, you know, we've heard it over the years. It's, it's, the, it's, it's gone away some, but we've had operators say, well, we don't trust the crowd. 
I want to validate that with scientific testing using the same platform, speed test inside, do a controlled drive in a metro area and say, look, says the same thing as the crowd, all of a sudden the rest of the crowd in that geography becomes valid. So that's where we're going with this. Um, we'll do more of the traditional drive testing that RootMetrics has always done, but I want to blend it together and have this, you know, be all solution of all things there.